Well, here we go on a wild Wednesday, and we begin with a, a song from my past and maybe yours. Indeed, the Supremes, and they truly were, and they still are Supremes. And uh, stop in the name of love. Stop in the name of love. By the way, uh, go to YouTube, and there's a lot of versions of it, so uh, listen to it again uh, since I faded it down just as it got going. Stop in the name of love. Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about stopping things, and uh, I think you'll find it helpful and useful. You see, today in America, uh, just as I said, uh, there's going to be a big debate among those who are the candidates for president in the Republican Party. And there is the primary candidate, former President Donald Trump, who is not going to participate. But what he is going to do is, while that show is going forward, and it is a show, please keep in mind, it's not much of a debate. It's going to be a television show. And uh, uh, eight or nine people are going to try and show their stuff. That's what it is can't have a debate with eight or nine people. It doesn't work. Hey, but you can show off, and that's what they will do. Fine. At the same time, again, Trump is going to be critiquing and stealing a lot of the audience, and of course, uh, then when he has to appear again tomorrow for what he believes is the phony charge against him, once again, he will capture all the media attention and exactly what he wants to do, because he is a guy of the media, and he's got that figured out. So, <laughs> stop in the name of love, and uh, I'd like to see where, based on what I just said, and the song we just heard, uh, I think I have some counsel for everybody, particularly the people who are going to be uh, showing off their stuff tonight. Uh, I don't want to know what you're going to do. I would like to know what you are going to stop. What are you going to stop? And I ask myself that question, I ask them that question, and I ask you that question. An interesting idea. Stop. And the program begins right now. Okay, once again, I get to be a little bit of a prophet. Uh, on my program about uh, Trump, I said that that's probably what he would do, is that he would benefit from not being involved in the debate. And, of course, that gives the other people uh, <laughs> what they actually need is he would be the attraction and he would be the distraction. And now since he's not there, hey, <laughs> just stop complaining, shut up, and show us your stuff. They have their chance. And of course, as I said, uh, Trump will have the ability to do what he always does, which is to uh, get the media spotlight, good or bad. So that's where it's at, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Now, I'm also going to predict that a couple things uh, need to go forward. First of all, uh, I said what I would say to Trump and how I would counsel him. And uh, again, he won't listen to me, never will hear from me, but it would have been helpful. I'm going to actually make a suggestion. One of the top candidates is uh, uh, Ron DeSantis, who has been uh, very successful as the governor of Florida and who was thought to be the top competitor to uh, Trump's nomination. Well, that has not gone well for him. Well, the uh, competing to be Trump's successor as the Republican nominee, has not gone real well for any of them, though uh, uh, it has gone uh, poorly for, uh, for Ron DeSantis. After tonight, I would ask him to stop. He should say, you know, I've decided to stop campaigning. I'm going back and I'm going to be the governor of Florida and I'm going to finish doing the great job of making Florida great again. And I'm going to do that, and I'm going to give it my full attention. And then at 2028, which, by the way, at 2028, he'll only be 48. He's still a young man. 
I may run for president again. We'll see. And at that time, he's in a far better position because if Trump wins, Trump will be done. And so it'll be much easier for him to get the nomination with a great record. Biden, if he wins, he'll be done for sure. And he probably will have messed a number of things up. And as a result of that, it will be a much easier win for whoever is the Republican candidate in 28. And the smart people like Christy Nome from South Dakota, are smart enough to have figured that out if they truly have presidential ambitions. What Christy's going to do is she's going to finish her term as governor and sell the success she had there and then go back to her western ranch cowboy tradition and then she will present herself as the proven cowboy who can bring back a, what is truly great, the uh, Western experience, and uh, offer herself. And she'll still be, obviously, a very young woman with power and influence to be. So that's what I'm predicting and what I am promoting if they listen to me, which, of course, I don't think they will. But now you know what might be a good idea. Now, stop. Stop in the name of love. <laughs> Here's what I would do if I were asking all of the people today. I said, okay, in America today, what are you going to put a stop to? Yes, it's time to stop some stuff. Before we can do some good stuff, we have to stop some bad stuff. What are you going to put a stop to? Now, ask them that. How's it going to be different? What is what is happening that we don't like that we're going to stop? Well, I'm going to suggest that the, there would be at least three things, maybe four. Okay, uh, stop inflation. We've got to stop that. Uh, inflation does not hurt rich people. They've got plenty of money, and the fact that the prices are going up is a absolute no inconvenience to them. They got plenty of money. The vast majority of people don't have plenty of money. The vast majority of people don't have enough money. And so inflation, and to say, well, we've got it down to three to four percent baloney. Stop it. In fact, we could use, in terms of prices, a bit of deflation. We would like prices to go down, not stop rising. We have to stop inflation. All right. Uh, stop the crime. We have to figure out how to do that. And the answer is very simple. And I'll let you figure out how are we going to stop crime. Uh, crime is on the uptake. People are afraid. People are talking about, you know, even in their cars, that their car is going to get hijacked and they're going to get shot. Um, there is a great deal of fear in the country, particularly in the cities, that um, crime is going to get them. And uh, we have to stop it. And I'll come up with uh, your suggestions for stopping the crimes. Make America safe again. Make America safe again. Now, there's all kinds of other issues that will go into what people should talk about stopping, and uh, you can figure those out yourself, but I would say, okay, stop inflation, stop the crime, and stop the killing, uh, which is partly the crime issue. But we've got a war. We've got the immigration situation, which not only is tough, people die all the time because of the immigration situation. Um, my own personal opinion is that, uh, in effect, the unborn lives are taken by great numbers every day. Do what you want with it, but stop the killing. At least slow it down. And that will be one of our goals. We're going to seek to stop the killing. 
around the world, in our own country, in our own community, we're going to stop the killing. Are you with me so far? <laughs> okay. I'm going to give the final one, and then I'm going to encourage you uh, to do some of your own uh, stopping stuff. I'm Stan Houston. The program is Interesting Ideas. I come to you, uh, and I'm going to teach you how to uh, stop being frustrated with your business and start having uh, more courage, boldness, bravery, and the ability to grow your audience and to grow your business. Stop being afraid and get someone to help you grow your business and stop being afraid. That's what I do, and I think I do it pretty well. StanHouston at gmail.com. StanHouston at gmail.com. And uh, I'll come back with a, a final idea, and then we're done because you're going to have to uh, start stopping stuff. What's number four? We had inflation, right? Okay. Stop that. What else? Stop the crime. Stop the killing. Stop lying. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. T9. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. T9. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> um, tell the truth. And right now, uh, governments and politicians and corporations, uh, many of our great institutions are lying, and we can't trust them anymore. And uh, when you cannot trust the institutions in a society, society does fall apart. There are many of those situations in history and uh, even in our current world. And then uh, anarchy, chaos, and barbarism uh, take over. And uh, those days were in the past, and they can come again. They certainly can. They can come again, and in fact, we have situations where they have. So stop the lying. Now, I'm going to have to do this in my own life. Okay. Uh, what should I stop doing in my own life? What should you stop doing in your life? Right now, you know, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to feel that way anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I'm going to stop. Hey, uh, stop being a little bit of a snob or snot. Um, yeah. All of us uh, have a sense of superiority. And as one of my mentors said, <laughs> if you have a sense of superiority, remember, you've just shown your inferiority. If you have a sense of superiority, you've just demonstrated your inferiority. Okay, what are you going to stop? Thinking, doing, whatever in your life and in your business, it will be far easier for you to start doing something if you clear some things and clear some clutter out of your life and your business and the way you work. You stop doing things. It'll be a whole lot easier to start doing good things. Um, making your mark. Making good friends. Creating things creating things. Stop wasting. Start creating. What are you going to create? Not what are you going to do. What are you going to stop doing? And what are you going to start creating? New. For you. 
in the service of you, your family, your community, your business, your organizations, your church, your place of worship? What are you going to start creating? And uh, how will life be different? September 24. How will life be different in September of 24? Well, I'm done. I'm going to stop talking right now. Uh, I can be of help to you in a variety of ways. Uh, again, stanhouston at gmail.com, stanhouston at gmail.com. Um, put Stan Houston in the search engine on Google and see what comes up. Put Stan Houston on the search in YouTube and see what comes up. And um, whatever comes up might be helpful. Don't know. could be one of a thousand things, but it might be something by providence and by grace which is helpful just for you. Just see. Some of it will be old, some it will be new, but I think most of it will be from my heart, and for the most part, as best as I can figure out, it's mostly true. <laughs> Hopefully all true, but probably not. Hey, uh, witradio.net, wit radio. My motto is what it takes. Do you have what it takes? And uh, if you don't, what does it take for you to have what it takes <laughs> to do the good stuff, to do the good work, to make the world a better place? Because you are here, and you were here. So there we go. Stan Houston at gmail.com. Stan Houston at gmail.com. Uh, I'll see you on Friday, and uh, we're going to... Again, uh, talk about stopping, and I'm going to encourage our young people and perhaps parents, stop going to college and university for now. Yeah, I think we need to stop sending our children to college and university now. We need to do something different. So that will be controversial, and we'll see where that goes. I'm Stan Houston. Again, reach out to me if I can be helpful. Uh, comments, criticisms, uh, keep it civil because I will not respond in any way unkindly to you so you make sure you don't respond unkindly to me. That's the deal. Stop your unkindness. Stop your incivility. Start being kind even to those you don't agree with and to those you disagree with. There we go. Take care. Best and blessings, because we all need it. That's for you, and I hope you'll send them back to me. Uh, Till next time, bye for now.